Hello and welcome back to Making Sense of It All. I'm Ania Soyan, a Level 1 student at the Global Forecasting School and economist at the Central Bank of Armenia. Today's episode is part of our special series where we take you behind the scenes of our new paper, The Endogenous Policy Credibility Model, Adapting Monetary Policy Frameworks for Risk Management and Avoiding Dark Corners. In this episode, we'll share how we use responsible AI to refine our work, read the title, abstract, and introduction of the paper word for word, and then move forward with key insights. But first, let me talk about how AI plays a crucial role in the writing and editing process. One of the biggest challenges when writing a paper is the editing process. After reading the same paragraphs over and over again, it becomes easy to overlook errors or lose sight of whether the message is clear. This is where Responsible A becomes invaluable. We use AI tools to convert our drafts into voice format, allowing us to listen to the content. Hearing the paper read aloud provides a fresh perspective. Does the argument flow logically? Are the key points emphasized clearly? Does anything sound awkward or need rephrasing? By listening to the paper, we can pinpoint areas for improvement in ways that reading alone can't achieve. This method not only enhances clarity, but also ensures the message resonates with a broader audience, from policymakers to researchers. AI doesn't replace human judgment, it augments it. It's part of the responsible AI approach that we're integrating into our work, not just for paper writing, but also in supporting central banking and education. Before we dive into the paper, let me remind you of some exciting events coming up. This week, we'll be at a workshop hosted by the National Bank of Georgia, focusing on the prudent risk management approach. Next month, on January 23rd, 24, we'll gather in Armenia for a major symposium featuring Bill White, who will share his insights on improving the prudent risk management approach. On January 25th, the symposium will highlight the role of AI in central banking and education, with Kush Wadwa delivering a keynote speech. Mark your calendars, you won't want to miss these events. Now let's move to the heart of today's episode. I'll read the title, abstract, and introduction of our paper, The Endogenous Policy Credibility Model, Adapting Monetary Policy Frameworks for Risk Management and Avoiding Dark Corners. Title, The Endogenous Policy Credibility Model, Adapting Monetary Policy Frameworks for Risk Management and Avoiding Dark Corners. Authors, Douglas Laxton, Heka Zigitian, and Shalva Makatrashvili. Abstract. This paper introduces the endogenous policy credibility model, Endocred, a multi-country gap model that incorporates Mervyn King's imperative for economic models to reflect the endogenous nature of central bank credibility based on its policy actions. The model illustrates the adaptability of semi-structural models to include important non-linearities and other complexities that are relevant for policymakers while remaining intuitive and easy to use. We apply Endocred to a use case for the United States and the Euro area at the early stages of the pandemic to demonstrate the dangers that a lack of credibility can have on the monetary policy transmission mechanism, namely the exchange rate operating as a shock emitter rather than an absorber. The insights from Endocred necessitate a broader discussion about central bank credibility and the future of monetary policy frameworks that integrates Alan Greenspan's vision of monetary policy as risk management. The Central Bank of Armenia's recent adoption of the Forecasting and Policy Analysis System, FPS Mark II, attempts to implement such a vision. The new approach advocates a shift from baseline projections to a scenario-based strategy, as Ben Bernanke has recommended in his 2024 Bank of England review. The scenario-based approach anticipates a diverse range of economic outcomes, but especially those that threaten to push the economy toward Blanchard's dark corners of high and variable inflation on one hand, and deflation on the other, both of which would ultimately reflect poorly on policy credibility if improperly managed, resulting in needless welfare loss. We end with a scenario exercise exploring a future where underlying inflation in the U.S. turns out to be higher, and the Fed delays a policy response, allowing inflation expectations to ratchet up, weakening central bank credibility, and generating a more aggressive policy response. Introduction We need models in which the credibility of a central bank is endogenous to its actions. Mervyn King, The Quest for Nominal Stability, Lessons from Three Decades with Inflation Targeting, Sveriges Riksbank, May 2024, the summer of 2021, vividly illustrated the dangers of relying too heavily on baseline assumptions under conditions of uncertainty. Central banks, including the Federal Reserve, adhered for too long to the narrative that inflation was transitory, delaying decisive policy actions that could have mitigated inflation persistence. 
Critics such as Larry Summers highlighted these missteps at the time, emphasizing that the reluctance to respond to growing evidence of persistent inflation risks allowed inflation pressures to build. As Summers noted, the costs of inaction would likely exceed the risks of over-tightening. These warnings foreshadowed the difficulty central banks later faced in re-anchoring medium-term inflation expectations and combating inflation premiums embedded in sticky price and wage-setting behavior. The prudent risk management approach developed at the Central Bank of Armenia, CBA, directly addresses the challenges revealed during this period. This approach emphasizes constructing alternative scenarios, such as one in which inflation proves transitory and another in which inflation is persistent, to prepare policymakers and financial markets for potential outcomes. By evaluating the costs of delayed responses under each scenario, the approach ensures that central banks are positioned to act decisively when evidence points to inflation persistence. Preparing financial markets for such possibilities enables faster adjustments and reduces the risks of credibility erosion. That's all for today's episode. In the next installment, we'll break the paper down section by section, exploring the details of the endocred model, its applications, and what it means for central banking today. As always, if you found this episode insightful, please subscribe, share, and leave a review. I'm Ani Asoyan, and this is Making Sense of It All. Until next time.